We'll now add some search functionality for our doc page. You have a couple different options for powering your search option. One is Next Content actually has search capability built into it. So you can use their default search capability for your site. Though you've likely seen on a lot of open source software on their documentation sites, search by Algolia. So Algolia provides you a couple different options. The first option is what you've seen on those open source documentation sites, which is doc search by Algolia. And what this is, is that they'll index your site and then provide you an embed that you can use for your site. Obviously, this is a pretty easy way because all you would have to do is just embed it into your site and then go from there. It's relatively straightforward. But the downside of that is you don't have any control really over the index and also the ability for you to further customize your search functionality. So it really depends on your needs. And I also believe that DocSearch only indexes a site maybe once a month. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that, but I, I believe I read that somewhere. Whereas the other alternative is just to plug in Algolia directly. And you would do that from algolia.com. And they do offer a free tier that you can use, which probably for the majority of just plain documentation sites will be enough. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're gonna be using the regular Algolia search functionality and I'm gonna show you how to use their view instant search components and then plug those into our documentation site. So what you'll need to do on your side is create your Algolia account. And with that, you'll wanna go in and find your API information. You'll see a secret API, which is gonna be used for us sending the index information to our Algolia index. And then there's gonna be a public API, which is really used for querying our index and showing the results on our site. Okay, let's go into the code. On the main header.view file, before we just put in a basic input. So we're gonna replace this with an actual component. And instead of calling it input, well, we're gonna create our new component called search. And I don't believe I really need this class information, but I might as well just leave it here for now and then come back and remove it if I don't actually need it. Okay, so let's create that new search component. Open up our directory menu here then close some of this stuff out and on the components folder right click file and create a new component search.view all right so let's add our template tags and then our script tags and let's start from here what we're going to be using are some pre-made components from algolia specifically made for vue.js and they're all going to be wrapped under this main one called AIS Instant Search. So a key thing for us to do right now is install AIS Instant Search. And there's gonna be a couple of steps for that. So let's go through those. The first place we're gonna go is to the package.json file. So let's open that up and we're gonna add a new dependency. So at the end, we'll do a comma and then return. And then let's add view instant search. And there it is. Okay, and let's grab the latest version, which is 3.4.3. Now that we have that here, let's go to our terminal and run yarn install to install that package. Okay, and then next up, we'll go to the next.config.js file and we're gonna add this as a plugin as well. We're gonna write in the path to the plugin in the nux.config.js file, and then after that, we'll create the actual plugin within the plugin folder that we see in the root directory. Do a single quote and then the little tilde. And of course, it's gonna be under the plugins directory, and we'll call it view instant search. Okay, and then on our left directory, within plugins, we see that there's nothing there right now. We just have that readme file. So let's right click on that and then click on new file and then view instant search.js. All right, perfect. In this JS file, we're gonna import view from view. And we're also gonna import instant search from view instant search.
and then type in view.use instant search. All right, this is all that we need for the plugin file. Well, let's go back to nux.config.js because another thing that we need to add in is a way to transpile the view instant search JavaScript to our view JavaScript. Otherwise, you're gonna come across a bunch of errors. All right, so let's transpile. And then we'll add in view instant search. And instant search. Uh, JS and then forward slash ES. Looks like I forgot a single quote there. Okay, this should be everything that we need to do in order to install the view instance search into our project and for it to work properly. So now we should be able to go back into our new search view component and we'll modify this just a little bit more for this video. For the main AIS instance search component, it's going to expect a couple properties within that. One is a search client. And we're going to use the default search client parameter there. And then it wants an index name. So this is the name of the index that you add into Algolia. For our index, I named it docs. So I'll type that in. In the script section, we'll want to import the Algolia search. And then we'll import that from Algolia search forward slash light. And then let's export default. And then for data, let's export some defaults here. So let's return. And then we're going to provide some information about our Algolia account client that we're going to set to Algolia search. And then what this expects is a couple variables. One is going to be your app ID. So you'll enter your app ID here as well as your public API key. So just literally replace app ID with your actual app ID and public API key with your actual public API key. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna take it with this video. It was mainly about setting up the Algolia search view instance search component within your next Vue.js project.